All right, right here, good-looking man right there, Tony Gill. He's a senior, the new head coach at the University of Pacific, Ron Verlin. But, Coach, you're not new to the school. You were with Coach Thompson for how long, 19? 19 years. 19 years. Yeah. There ought to be an award for yeah. being an assistant that long. That's loyalty. <laughs> yeah, no question that's loyalty. So, uh, I guess they rewarded me with the job, huh? Yeah, exactly. That was a good reward there. Now, um, is, it, is, it, is it fun for you to kind of be the head guy right now? Is it, has it been a different transition? What's that been like? Is it fun? It's been totally exciting. The yeah. town is alive because we've moved from the Big West to the WCC. Mm -hmm. So, that's been unbelievably awesome. Uh, but heck yeah, it's exciting. I mean, the guys and being the guy and getting to call your own shots is going to be outstanding. You, you wait 19 years to do that, and now you're going to get the chance. So I'm excited about that. Has Coach been bugging you, Coach Thompson? No, <laughs> you know, he, he, really, he, he really hasn't, but I want to tell you a little story. He showed up at practice the other day and, and uh, with his dad, because his dad, you know, was always around yeah. practice with a shot doctor, and all the guys just kind of cringed because, what's Coach doing back here? You know, it was like, what an interesting thing they were looking at. Get on the baseline. Because, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, and Coach and, and my demeanor are kind of different. He's a yeller, screamer. I'm a little more laid back, real positive, energetic. And so the guys were like, oh, man, is Coach coming back to Coach again? What's going on? You know, so he's he's like that until he gets maybe two. Two losses in a row. <laughs> then we're going to see that screamer. We get no losses. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I like that. That's a positive that. thing. There we go. Coach. That's a yeah. senior. Yeah, no, coach. coach. Before we get into style of play, the first thing I thought of driving in, brand new to the WCC. So when you look at the other nine coaches, all they have to do is prepare for one team, the University of Pacific. You've got to prepare for nine other teams, styles of play, how they defend the pick and roll. How has that been in terms of an adjustment? For a coach. Yeah. It's it's going to be a major adjustment. There's no question because a lot of the years for over the last 19, we've prepared for Long Beach, Santa Barbara, and some of those schools in your preseason prep work. So we took the summer and a lot of the fall and, and organized uh, basically charts and different graphs and stuff so we knew, like, what are the tendencies of the Zags? Now, we played Gonzaga last year up there. <clears throat> we played St. Mary's twice. We were able to play Santa Clara once last year, and we played USF. So we have some we have some ideas. One of our assistant coaches, Calvin Bird, worked at both Lyola and San Francisco. So we got some thoughts, but until you go through the wars, it's a whole different deal. For the, the new fans that are watching this today, talk about the style of play that they can expect to see from the University of Pacific. Well, you're going to see a hard-nosed, tough brand of basketball, screening, moving, cutting, uh, be a little faster than what you've seen out of Pacific. If you got a chance to watch this last year in the <clears throat> Big West Tournament Finals mm -hmm. or in the NCAA, a little faster pace. Um, so we've really practiced on getting the ball up and down the court, and I think you'll see us. And we got some guys that can really shoot it, so we will definitely let it fly from the three. Now, Coach, you got Tony Gill sitting right here. Let's, let's, let's talk about this young man. Uh, man, one of the greatest guys I've ever coached, to be honest with you. He's wow. an unbelievable student. Uh, he's, we're going to call him Dr. Gill here before too long. Uh, and, um, but just awesome, smart, great team leader. And you know what he does? He's a great shooter, and he is the most unselfish guy we've had. And he's just really you know, polite and nice and, and good hard worker. And you know what? He's got style. Drake, let's get that camera right here on this. On, <laughs> on this. Show, show your socks. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, he knows That's this was the about. home of the Lakers, Chris. He, know, he knows what he's got a little bit of tent. I asked him if it was, uh, you know, Portland or Pepperdine. Yeah. <laughs> Who was that? I was, well, was going to get the theme by giving him, giving him to Ryan. But, I mean. <laughs> well, Coach, question for you. Um, I love your bigs. I think your bigs can shoot the basketball. I love your wings. I think they're very good. It's The question I have is, who's going to be that point guard, that extension of you on the floor? Well, Andrew Bach is a senior, uh, been with us for four years. Uh, obviously, he's got a great chance to be that. We re signed two excellent recruits. We signed TJ Wallace, uh, a local guy from <coughs> Stockton that we really, really like. And then we signed David Taylor from Germany, uh, who's got a ton of international experience. So it's going to be one of those three guys. It's still up in the air right now. The competition's really fierce at the point guard spot, no question about that. Who's leading? Oh, that's a tough question. I'm going to say Andrew Bach right at this present time because of being a fifth-year senior. Mm -hmm. He's a Creighton transfer. Uh, he's an L.A.-based guy. Um, he's, done, he's had a great, great spring, great summer. So look for him to be ready to rock and roll right out of the gates with Andrew. All right, Tony, let's focus on you a little bit. First, let's go back to last year. What was it like playing the NCAA tournament? I mean, for, for a kid growing up playing basketball his whole life. Uh, it's something you watch as a kid yeah. and you dream about. Um, and kind of to finally get that experience to do it was kind of surreal it kind of didn't hit me until after um, it was but it was definitely something I didn't want to take I wanted to take full advantage of uh, one thing coach Verlin kind of told us before we even went he said you know don't get caught up in the moment because just remember that we're actually there for a purpose we're still there for a game because um, it's easy to kind of get distracted in the lights and then and all the off-course stuff all the media attention and that kind of stuff but 
it was something hopefully we can repeat again this year. Yeah, I was going to say, being a senior now, and, and now that you guys have tasted it, how, how hungry and how much has it motivated you guys into the offseason and now that you're practicing? Do, do, do you see a difference in this team and the way you guys are, are working and focused? Definitely. I think uh, kind of, you know, we, we had a little taste of what it was like last year, and it's bringing back seven, eight seniors. Um, I think we want to go back, you know, we want to win. Uh, but and now that we know what it takes to get there, we're kind of now we know how hard we need to work. So I think a lot of the guys we stayed all summer trying to lift weights and just getting better individual work, that kind of stuff, because we know what it takes to get there now. So now it's just a matter of trying to you know execute and try and do what we can to get there again. You know, coach wants to be soft spoken. He wants to be <laughs> able to put his arm around you. Like I said, you haven't been in that first time out <laughs> when he's diagramming an exhale. But on a serious note, and, and don't say there's none because there has to be some. What changes have you seen? And they could be very positive in terms of him now being the head coach as opposed to being that assistant that recruited you, that put his arm around you. What's changed, good or bad? Um, you know, kind of, I, I know I can speak for a lot of the guys when, when the transition was happening. We kind of didn't really know what to expect, but we were rooting for Coach Verlin because he's our guy. You know, he's the one who recruits us, you know, kind of just builds a relationship and foundation with us. But um, I think he's, he's, he naturally stepped into the role, role very well. Um, I think one of his strengths is he's how personable he is, how well he gets along with our guys, and, um, and how much he actually cares about us. You know what I mean? It's like those texts at night saying, hey, how's family, how's mom, how's dad? Um, care about you in the, in the classroom. And I think what makes him uh, a really good coach is how approachable he is. And you can go to him with anything, and not just basketball related. I go to him about my personal life all the time. And, you know, he's somebody I can sit down and talk to, and he's like a father figure to us. And um, I think that translates onto the court, court really well because at times when he gets rough and he, when he gets tough on us, you know, we know it's just for our better interest. He has nothing but our best interest in his mind, you know, because he wants to see us succeed. So, um, you know, we, we try not to get frustrated or anything because we know he's just doing his job. He's coaching us. He's trying to get us better. So, and I think I've seen for, compared to last year, we were, were reacting much better as a, as a unit to him and how he's coaching us because uh, we like to think of ourselves as coachable young men. So I think being the person he is, it makes it really easier for us. I know he's a great recruiter because I've had to recruit against him. He comes from a great basketball family. But you know what? Sometimes assistants, long-term yeah. assistants, they get pigeonholed as to being a recruiter. What makes him, and I know different, what makes him a great X and O coach? It's just, um, I think, his experience. Being here 19, 19 years and getting to be around Coach Thomason, who's, who's one of the best in the business, you know, kind of seeing him, kind of just taking a back seat to seeing what he's been able to do. Because um, a lot of the stuff we're doing now is very similar, but obviously he wants to add his own little twitch to it, you know. So we're keeping a lot of the same stuff that we did last year, but he, obviously we're trying to get a little faster pace and do stuff he wants to do. Uh, but uh, I think the biggest thing is we trust in him. You know, we know he's our leader, and he's going to only put us in positions to succeed. I mean, Coach, isn't this what college basketball is about and, and, and the WCC? I mean, to get these young men in here, seniors, they stay in school, they care about school, yeah. and they love basketball. I mean, this is why you're doing this. Absolutely, absolutely, especially at Pacific. It's a great place. We're all about the student athlete. And, you know, in Bob's time, and obviously most of my time being with Bob, we've been able to graduate 90% of our, our athletes, and that's what it's all about. And then they come back and – and they're still part of your family, and that's what's big. And now you, you just heard Tony talk. That's why I like him so much. You know, he's definitely going to be starting now after that, you know, that <laughs> comments and stuff. You know what I mean? Was, he, I could have said it myself. Me, he asked yeah, me to ask that yeah. question. I know, I know. I knew it was, it was a setup. So, um, but, um, no, that's why you do it, and especially at a school like Pacific. It's very personal, hands-on, a touch to an education, which is awesome. Coach knows about the WCC because he's a student of the game. Most players don't really look outside their conference. What are your perceptions of joining this great league? Um, I know I speak for a lot of us on campus when we're definitely excited about it, not from the campus but from the community as a whole. Uh, we're looking better, uh, looking forward to the better competition and just uh, kind of just being, you know, it's a testament to how hard we have to work. Um, every, 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 like, uh, every um, Coach Verlin always says every game is going to be a battle. There's no gimme games. Um, you have to bring it every single night, night in and night out, or else you know it's going to be a rough night. So, you know, we had, we had that stat earlier. You know, St. Mary's is one of four schools to win 25 games six years in a row. Kansas, Duke, Zags, <laughs> yeah. and them. Gonzaga finally got that number one ranking last year for the conference. I mean, this is going to be a good time for you guys. How excited are you to get that first game on your belt? <laughs> Real excited. Hope we can get a first win under yeah. our belt. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be nervous today, hey, Coach. You gotta have that he's little... soft spoken. He doesn't get yeah, nervous. He's yeah, gonna have no it in question. Here. No he's question. gonna have it in there. Yeah, I'm gonna be nervous. Though. Come, uh, I've been telling the guys we go. We're at Nevada, uh, November 8th, first yeah. season. I started my coaching, my Division One coaching career at Nevada. I told those boys, 
we'll be ready to go come November 8th. Yeah. So uh, I'll, you bet I'll be nervous when that first ball goes up on November 8th. And hopefully it calms down and you, and you play. And got seven seniors and yeah. guys I can count on out there. No question. What kind of doctor do you want to be? Uh, hopefully an anesthesiologist. I hope so. You put me on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question. We know a little bit about you. We've watched you play with Coach. Is he more, if I got into his car, am I going to hear Katy Perry or Taylor Swift? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> a great question. That's the best that question. That is a good question. Um, <clears throat> God, I would say Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yeah. The producer in my ear said rap, so it made me think of rap. Is he more Biggie or Tupac? <laughs> <laughs> he is, gosh, man. He's an old school guy, so I'd probably say look, probably Tupac. Little, Maybe little Sugar Hill Gang. Nah, now, now we're talking. Yeah. Little Sugar Hill Gang. Rapper's man. delight. Yeah. Are you on? <laughs> no question. Are you on Twitter? No, not. Nah. You don't need to be on Twitter. Is Coach? Uh, I don't know. Are you Coach? Absolutely, I'm on Twitter. Yeah. What's, your, what's your Twitter handle? <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm on Twitter. <laughs> try to get I'm Max. On Twitter, yeah. The thing is, try to get Max good on Twitter. If you can get Max good on Twitter, guys, yeah. I'm trying to get Max good to get a toaster that has four slices instead of two. <laughs> Max good is old school. Yeah, no man, question. you're impressive, young man. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. Congratulations sir. on Thank everything. You. Good luck this year, Coach. Thank you, sir. Appreciate also, Thank excited you. to have you in the conference. All right, we're happy right. to be here. Hey, happy WCC here. this week. Coach and I host it. Make sure you watch it. We do features on guys. Give me one guy on your team that we should follow. Who's got a good personality and a good story? Besides you, because we're probably going to do it on you. Trevin Harris. Should we look at him? Yes, Why? Sir. He's married. Uh -huh. um, he is a master student. He's smart. He's educated. He's well spoken. Um, he's goal driven. He's goal oriented. Yeah, he can shoot the rock. And he can shoot the rock. There's our soft yeah, yeah, yeah. He can shoot the rock. <laughs> great job, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Good job. Thanks Coach. for having us. Yeah, man. that was great. Safe travels. Yeah, yeah.